Hi everyone, this video covers Chapter 8 Skills Review um, 8-34 through 8-35, um, working with special layer functions. Okay, um, go ahead and navigate, uh, launch Photoshop and navigate to the files where you save your chapter data files for the week. Um, chapter 8, here. And then you're going to want to open 8-2, the zebra photo. Okay, save it as stripes. Okay, make sure the rulers are displayed in pixels. So go to View, Rulers, and then make sure you do a right click or control click to make sure those are in pixels. Okay, um, change the zoom factor to 150. So you can see that a little bit better. Create a type layer, title in black with the text, we must do lunch above the zebra layer. Okay, so now I'm going to do a new, I'm just going to grab the type tool here and click here. I want to make sure it's in black, so I'm going to go to my default fill and, and stroke. We must do lunch. And of course, this is a little big. Shrink that down. Want to make sure it's 24 point Sagoa print font. Um, you can use any font you want. I don't have that font. So I'm just going to keep it at a script font similar to what you see in the figure. Um, well, it's not that similar, but something close. Okay. Whoops. We must do lunch. Okay, and that is above the, the zebra layer as shown here. Okay, now make the zebra air layer active by clicking it. Then select the elliptical marquee tool. Change the feather setting on the options bar to 5 pixels. Create a marquee selection from 35x to 35y to 235x to 360y. Now I'm going to go to my info panel again because I like to kind of see um, where those xy coordinates are. So 35x, so about here, and we're going to bring that down to 235, 360. Right about there, 360. That's probably good enough. Okay. Okay, use the layers panel to add a layer mask. Okay, so here's the layers panel and here's the layer mask. So all you do is you click on layer mask and because I did that um, elliptical marquee, it actually masked the area um, that I did not select outside of the marquee selection.
Okay, now save your work. Excellent. Now we're going to work with multiple masked layers. So select the brush tool. And quickly, um, just so you know, the brackets that are located in your upper right area of your keyboard, quickly enlarge and shrink your brushes, your brush tip size. So it'll do by 10 pixels at a time. So just so you know, you can quickly do that if you want. Okay, hide the type layer. So now we're going to hide the type layer that said we must do lunch. And step three, change the existing brush tip to soft round with a size of nine pixels. So I have my painting workspace. Um, I have my workspace set to painting. So I can quickly access these brush tips if I want or you can bump open your brushes and you can find it there as well. Um, change the existing brush tip to soft round with a size of nine pixels. We're gonna look, Let's see here, soft round. Okay, so I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to change it to 10. I'm going to make it soft and I believe below 50%. I'll put that at 100. And then I think it said something like. flow the opacity to 100 if it already if it isn't already that way I do want it to be a round brush Okay so I should be set now so I've got my soft round. Okay, and make sure that the normal mode is set here. That's what we want to do. Okay, use the default foreground and background colors to paint the area from 20x to 70y. Again, you can bump open your info panel if you need to do that. Um, and click on your default. Okay, make sure that layer mask thumb, thumbnail is selected and not the actual zebra with what we're about to do. Okay, now we want to paint the area from 20x to 70y. To 65, 290. Make sure you get those other little areas here that are easily forgotten and you can see sort of the blue shining through. Okay. Okay, display the type layer. 
make the fern layer active, and unlink the background layer from the fern layer. So I just unlink the layers, okay? Rotate the fern so that its left edge barely touches the zebra's nose. Then commit your edits. So we're going to do a rotate. Edit, transform, rotate. There you go, commit your edits, you can just double click. Save your work. Do a control S. Now we're gonna um, go ahead and um, be done with this video and I will move on with control pixels to blend colors in the next video.